Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And I have this old Lenovo ThinkPad that I found and thought it would make an interesting teardown. So we're going to take it apart. So this is a Lenovo Z6 1T ThinkPad. It has a Intel Centrino Duo modem and it had Windows XP. It has a Intel Core 2 Duo CPU. Not too sure what any of the other specs are, but so pretty sleek designed notebook. This is one of the higher end ThinkPads that Lenovo made. So it's kind of a higher end machine. Oh, it has Windows XP Professional. Okay, here's the battery. It's awfully small. It's only rated 2600 milliamp hour, which is pretty small for a notebook battery. Okay, the hard drive is over here. Okay, this is a Hitachi 60 gigabyte SATA hard drive. You can see these rubber grommets on it to keep it from being jostled around too much. Okay, let's see how to get out the disk drive. Okay, there's a screw here that let's see what that does okay so there's a little little lever piece here and when you move that this piece here comes out and then you pull this and it ejects the disk drive and you can take it out it's a really cool design on the front here's sd card slot i don't know what that all panel is but you have headphone and microphone this is like a brightness switch or something you have firewire a dot card or whatever those are called in a video and other ports Okay, now I think it comes up. Oh, there it goes. We kind of broke it a little, but that's fine. So here's the uh, trackpad. Now I think these screws, you have to take these out to release the uh, keyboard. There we go. Okay, there's the keyboard off. Oh, all these buttons up here are all pre-attached to the keyboard, too. That's weird. There's a little cover there. You know, I'm curious what's under that. Let's see. Oh, there's a little tiny circuit board. Oh, that's for the little... I forget what them things are called. The little things that everybody hates. So, there's the RAM. And there is three modems in here. One of those might be a, a sound card though. Okay, let's see the RAM. This is a one gigabyte stick. 
another one gigabyte stick, so two gigs of RAM. Pretty standard for laptops at that time. Okay, now let's take these off here. Okay, so this has like some kind of piece here where the wire goes through to the display. Okay, here's that cover here. Now, uh, here's the speakers here, left and right. Now, one thing that's kind of weird on this is it has two modems. This is the main one, and then this is the uh, other one, because it has uh, Centrino Duo, so it has two, and then this one is the sound card. Here's the card, Intel model MOW1 wireless card, doesn't say Centrino on it anywhere. Okay, this is the audio card. There's a the little connector. And here's the other one. Pretty much just like the other one. Okay, now let's see if we can figure out how this display comes off. Probably go to the brackets that hold the hinge hinges on for the display. Okay, let's remove the display connector. Nice big old connector. It's like glued down. Okay, this just slides out. have to take off the antenna wire, so. Okay, here's the screen. You can see the bracket, the brackets here. Here's the little space where the where the little pieces would fit in into the frame. Okay, let's take off the speakers. Whoops, one of the wires pulled out. Oh, there's like a copper shielding. You know, it's probably to protect it from the heat, from the heat sink, because that's what it sits directly on. Oh, it's got a little tiny port, too. Here's the other one. A little bit of copper shielding on that, too. Okay, it looks like the next thing to come out is the heat sink. So these have the labeled screws for the CPU, so you have to take them out in a numbered order. Now the reasoning for taking it out like that is so you don't apply too much pressure to one side of the CPU and if you put too much pressure to a single side of the CPU it will fracture 
the CPU die, and then I will destroy the CPU. Okay, here's the uh, fan connector. And here's the cooler. Interesting design. You can see the thermal paste for the CPU and thermal pad for the north bridge and the power regulators. So this is the CPU. It's a Core 2 Duo. This is the north bridge here and the south bridge. Okay, let's take out this little backup battery here. This is for the internal clock and uh, keep the bio settings. There's another, another little cable here. Let's just take that out. Here's the uh, main power connector up here. You can tell by the bigger wire gauge. Now I think you have to take off a few more screws on the back. Okay, the motherboard is under this big metal piece here. Okay, this whole piece is coming out. So, there's the motherboard. This big piece is a magnesium alloy. It's super lightweight and cheap to manufacture. You can see how bright it is when you scratch it. Now a test to see if this is really magnesium is you can put a little tiny drop of vinegar on it. And if the vinegar bubbles, it's magnesium. Here's the back of the board. There's another little connector that goes over to these ports. Here's the little tiny board. Here's the board. It looks like a another little bracket here. And here there's some shielding, some copper tape, and you can see the drive release mechanism here when you pull the lever this piece springs out okay now let's look at this display not anything fancy it's got a ton of little indicator lights on it though and over here, the classic IBM ThinkPad logo. There are these little screw covers here that you have to take off to 
Oh, is that a little LED? It's a little LED. Yeah, one of those little keyboard lights you see on the fancy laptops. Pretty well built laptop, actually. It's all designed to be user replaceable with the modems and stuff. Here's the bracket. Well, this is kind of a strange piece here. Oh, that's the uh, opening mechanism. Okay, I see. There's that little tiny LED. I have to take the display out, though. I see that. All kinds of crazy stuff here. Oh, I think I broke it. Whoops. High voltage board for the lamps. Now oh, there's a little transformer and high voltage capacitor under here. This ribbon wire is weird. It has some kind of like fabric mesh on it. Never seen that before. Here's the actual display. Pretty standard display. Then these are the antennas here for the Wi Fi. The wire runs all the way up here. And there's the antenna. Same thing with the other side. So that just about wraps it up for this laptop. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.